Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Get a screwdriver or something and pry bar that out. Nails right there. turn those on until such time it's right okay we'll clean all this up and snap that back in there away we go guess what I have figured out that even expensive duct tape like gorilla tape and this is uh, called iron force tape and other tape that's tried to hold up underpinning underneath a mobile home the plastic doesn't seem to last a long time you know, a lot of times you'll see strips of uh, duct tape falling down so what I've been using here lately although about the same price is foil tape this time you take the wax paper and peel it off this stuff for some reason holds way better initially and stays longer there's also another type uh, foil tape. Look at this tape. This one here doesn't have the foil on it. And it's hard to find the end sometimes, but that's why you want to fold it like that so you can find it. But you'll find this stuff works better than duct tape. I don't know why, but in my experience, so hope it helps. So we're getting ready to mix some grout on the tile in this uh, Sistine stone sliding glass door uh, corner shower. That was a long name. And what I usually do, I mean, I can mix it up in big pans, but we have a very small space and uh, big buckets and stuff like that, but we have a small, small space. So what I'm gonna do is pour water in here. This is not real level. I'm gonna just pour the whole bottle. Then, this is a uh, inexpensive, well, uh, white dry grout. It's not sanded, non-sanded, so it will not scratch the tile and look real smooth. This is stuff you would put in the bathroom areas and uh, glass tile so it doesn't scratch your tile and things like that. And then it's real easy to clean out. Sanded would go on places like the main walking area, things like that. Then I have a battery powered drill to and make sure those little deals there uh, are sticking out. This has come from a mixer. 
that you would use at home to mix up eggs, eggs or whatever. And I got it at Goodwill, and I just buy them up for a quarter to fifty cents a piece, and stick them on truck and use them for all different kinds of things: fast mods, grout, corn oil. soupy for what I want so I'm going to add some more Looks like that looks like it'll be fine. Uh, a lot of times people use a rubber float to push it in. You push the, the grout in, and that's okay. Very very familiar myself with a six inch knife or such, and it's very handy for me. I, this is a good example why I don't like to use steel. Aluminum. Non stainless compared to stainless. Stainless can be sitting out around and never rust up, whereas this was might have been clean. And now it's all rusted up. And that would transfer into this white. Uh, and those pits, well, little holes in that knife from the rust, uh, end up making holes when, uh, when you finish. So I, I don't normally, I probably got that at a thrift store or something. It's good, it's good if you can continually oil them. A lot of times we're in a hurry, patch job, and it uh, doesn't get cleaned well enough or oiled taking the time with a little bit of oil to just keep it from rusting. But that's why I use stainless. They're hard on your hands, but I feel like on how to get her scurvy done on a mobile home gun. And uh, 
I wasn't able to get back with her as quickly as I wanted to probably, but through several weeks, she's managed to uh, get her skirting job done herself. And I am so proud of her. And that's a good example of so people, if they want to, they can do these things themselves. And that's really why I'm doing this. Now that in this area, I mean, originally I started, this is like a resume, and I outlived a lot of customers that I have, so I needed to have something to show people that they didn't have to take my word for it, I could actually do it, they could go and see me do it through a little video, but... Uh, it's actually worked to where I've been able to help a lot of people understand how to get it done. And then they're doing it. That's really cool. Really cool that they're able to do their own work, and that makes it all worthwhile for me. To be honest with you, though, I wouldn't accomplish it without my wife helping me and my guy that's working with me, Clay, they have been helping me all along. Credit should be given to them. My wife doing all the internet work for the website, and she's been doing this for years now. And so I'm, I'm just a turtle on a post, which is really cool to see a turtle on a post, but you know he didn't get there by himself. So I'm just a turtle on a post. Got a lot of help. All right. Let that sit up a little bit and we'll wipe it out with a bucket of sponge, uh, water with sponge, and we'll wipe it all down. When it's dried. You don't have to wait till it's totally dry, but when it's getting dry, yeah. There we go. Now we got to clean up. By the way, we went underneath the house and could not take you with us. It was so tight, it's like crawling underneath somebody's couch to put in plumbing. And we put the plumbing in for the drain. Uh, we insulated everything and then we put the plastic back up for the underpinning. So you couldn't be there for that. Sorry. All, right. All right, so oh, there's that sun. What we're doing now is wiping down the excess. So that we can find a way to not have much to wipe down whenever it dries. I'm gonna take some, since I made a mistake,
that dry up and then we'll wipe it down again. Alright, so we have a footstool. It goes there. If you notice, I've cut these pieces of wood so I don't have to hold it. I pre drilled these holes. There were already some pre drilled in there. I just made sure they would fit. Uh, this drill. I got this curl up in this thing. I'm not really made for this. change out my I mean, it's not that heavy, it's still going to show it. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? You don't want to stay there. Uh, how tough? It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.